honey. <laughs> non disclosure. I want to say with this one that the whole time I was like, please flip it back at the end. Please flip it back at the end. And then they flipped it back at the end. And I was like, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and, and I mean, and the other thing I want to say is the, the attention to detail, like all the advertising. Mm -hmm. And all that stuff that you just saw that would just be in the background. At first, I didn't, because at first I was like, "What's going on?" You know, sort of thing. And I didn't catch the first ad where it was like a male razor thing or whatever. But then when the bus came up and it was a birth control thing, I was like, "Okay, I, I see it now." And just, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I think it was it was very. Uh, it was like this era's version of like white man's burden, like that John Travolta movie where. They did the race reversal thing out from years ago, sort of thing. Because it was it was all like that for me. Like it was, it was so good. Yeah, I'm happy too that they showed it at the end. Because at first I thought they w weren't going to do it. I thought it was like in a kind of set like in a reality where you know women like everything, all the hashtags, all the the movement has taken place, and now they're in a position of power because they specified on like the producer aspect, how you want to advance his career and become a producer. And sometimes, in not all cases, but sometimes it's just getting the role like as an actor or an actress, like in the in the film. But you know, the producer, they have the the most power. Like they're they're kind of driving the film, so to speak, you know, getting the pieces together. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really an interesting take, just everything that was mentioned, like how he was concerned about like, you know, this was gonna you know, he, he wanted to get justice. He w wasn't really like too, he, he was concerned about his career, but at the end of the matter, he wanted to get like his, his life back, mm -hmm. you know, before the situation. So I thought that was just, you know, really, and I, I'm happy that they did the flip and just, you know, really made you reflect. And it's just, you know, really refreshing and it's good to see this, you know, from a man's perspective. Because sometimes, and not speaking for all men, some men get it. I know I do, I, I do see, you know, the injustice and I try to be an ally, you know, where I can. But, you know, sometimes, and I speak for all men, sometimes we just don't get it, so. And, you know, that's just what it is. No, One of the things I really appreciated about this film is um, the way the role reversal was done is, it gave you that mixed feeling of you wanted to laugh because it's just like, yeah, you see a Middle Eastern guy or Indian guy, I can tell, but like he had his head cover instead of the woman having her head cover and then the advertisement and then like the main character is constantly making sure his shirt was buttoned and then like when the woman was on top of him, like she was writing him like how a man would uh, write a woman like in that situation. So you had all these little moments that you kind of wanted to laugh at because of the absurdity, but at the same time you realized how fucked up it was that it's like, yeah, it's funny, but yeah, you get, you see what it's um, reflecting and you, and, you, and you feel bad about that. And then, um, like, having that real attention to detail and consistency all the way throughout, and then at the end, um, uh, revealing that's actually happening to the wife and not to him. So, um, but yeah, I felt like they nailed so much, like, especially in the entertainment industry, like the casting couch stories, like, how badly do you want this role? And basically putting people into a position where they can't, they don't really have no as an option to say because it's either go through this or uh, lose their job and they could have like families at home, mouths to feed and they're put in a uh, horrible predicament that no one should ever have to deal with. Mm -hmm. No, I think you made a great point. I think it was a very, I don't know, I really appreciated them showing the harassment in different avenues. You know, like you said, like at the bus stop or like even walking to the bus stop, just the cackling, you know, of the women. Like, it, cause I feel like it's like, you know, oh, like the, you walk past the construction site and the guys are, it's the same thing. And I, I, I really appreciate, like you said, the consistency of showing that in different ways. Throughout. I mean, I thought that it did a really good job making the point that everything that women kind of go through now is just so ridiculous that it has to happen. So showing it, like flipping the switch was really powerful. No, it was great. It was great to be able to see it from kind of the reverse. All right, any other burning points? Otherwise.